We're outside the Xenon Cinema now. And we're going to go inside and have a look at this very small projection room where some lovely people are working here. And it was a pleasure to actually visit this cinema. So let's go into the projection room of the Xenon Cinema here in Berlin. Hello, my name is Eric and welcome to the Xenon Cinema in Berlin. Uh, thank you. Can you just tell us how old the cinema is? I think it was built in 1908. Wow. And it's just the ground floor of an old building. Yes. And is this one of the oldest cinemas in I think it's the second oldest. Maybe, I think it's the oldest that's still in the way it used to be. Wow. There's one in Kreuzberg, another district, which is like one or two years older, but it's all rearranged. You don't right. use it anymore. Uh, thank you. There's no atmosphere. Yeah. yeah. There are cinemas like this, like the Ogin, mm -hmm. and Casablanca I went to. But to these don't bother, I don't Oh, know. that's nice. All the walls are painted with scenes from Casablanca. Mm -hmm. You should go to the International. I've done it. I've, yeah, I did that in August. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That's pretty nice. Nice cinema. And projectors from Hungary. Yeah. Yeah. So is this the original projection room? It's the place, yeah, but it's different machines, of course. Of course, because I suspect when they had two projectors, they must be very, very cramped. I don't know if it's locked out that way, but we have a 16 here as well. Yes. But there wouldn't be no room for, for 235, I think. Yeah, <laughs> and if there was, it would be very, very tight. So we've got a cinema kind of tower. So do you change your film every night? No, no. Oh. It's uh, normally at least one week. Yes. But we also do like three or four weeks of with, with one movie that works out. Oh really? Because I mean, I think this cinema is quite famous, I think. Or infamous. A little bit, yeah. <laughs> we can get away with things other cinemas can't. Oh really? <laughs> yes.
Is the amplifier in the projector? Hmm? Is the amplifier in the console? No. Yeah, I thought so. And it's just mono. No, it's Dolby. You've got Dolby, fantastic. Oh, it doesn't work. Oh, all right. <laughs> We even have some surround speakers, but it's, it's strange because today we have old movies like Yes, yeah. stuff like this and they're not in surround so you get strange sound effects. Ah, right. Now tell me, is this the, the, the more pornographic version or the censored version? Uh, it should be the, the longest one. Ah, right. Nice but right. I haven't checked. Ah, right. Because I know when it first came out in the no. States they played the long version. No. Yeah, yeah. But the, the, I see it right by the flag and the building. Is, is it always a gay cinema or do you... Because when I've been here outside before, it's always been sort of like gay films. Uh, it, is, it is established now as... as uh theater where you could see gay movies. Yeah, yeah. Excellent. Legal there's no gay movies, so it's oh, quite right. heterosexual. <laughs> <laughs> but I've been here um, long before it turned into a gay place. Oh, yes. Yes. But the guy who was doing the program yes. uh, was clever enough to to see that you could the do, uh, could do yeah, not really, you know, he is, he is into these kind of things and it's a good way to stand against the, the multiplexes. That's right, because it's a specialized market, yeah. yeah. And we can show things they wouldn't dare to show. Of that's, course. That's the only chance for us. Yes. And the rent is quite cheap, that's how we survive, I think. Of course, yes. So, I mean, I, I don't even know where we are in relation to sort of a zoo where I'm stopping, but is this like a gay area or is it just that your boss was very clever to pick up the niche, as you say? We have some bars here, but uh, it's not a, a real gay area, no. Oh, right. It's, the area was called um, kind of a socialist area, like... Oh, the here. Red, red sock area. Yes, because yes. I see there's a big Turkish community here. Yeah, yeah. since, since the 80s. All right, do you ever show any Turkish movies? I think once we had one Turkish movie, and once we had a gay Turkish movie, which was oh, impossible no. for the community to, to stand. Ah, yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow, that's really interesting. And another thing is that we, many of the new films, of gay films, yeah. are very independent, so they are not on film stock anymore. Ah, right. So we turn over to video and DVD. Oh, excellent. Do you have a projector you can use in the theatre? Yeah, it's an old video beamer. Yes. But it doesn't look quite... As good as film, no, no. no but I suppose the market, don't worry about that. There's some films that's great to video, so there's, there's no chance. Yes. been here? I think 15 years or something. You have in the cinema? Wow! This is a cinema I also kind of grew up. Yes. To, I went to children's programs when I was a kid. Yes. But I only work here one or two nights a week. Ah, I see, yes. It's more of a charity thing. Ah, uh, yeah. <laughs> I just look around the corner, so uh, I no problem, I just is it? come by and screen a few films, and that's it. Yes. And the always start at seven o'clock at night. It depends. If we have three movies, we start at six. Oh right. So it's 
so tonight you just got one movie. Two. Oh really? Yeah. Trick now and later on Caligula, which is ah. three hours, so it's only two movies. Ah right. So, this is the only cinema you've worked at if you've been here 15 years. Hmm? This is the only cinema you've worked at. Yeah, I learned at a different cinema, York Kino. Oh yeah, I've got yes to go there. What's it like? I learned there, but I never worked there. Oh yes. I came here because a friend uh, made uh, what was running the cinema, I knew. And so I just turned up here and yeah, excellent. started working. Yes. And that was 15 years ago. <laughs> Something like that, yes. <laughs> That's fantastic. You must enjoy it. Hmm? You must enjoy it. Yes, it's easy work. Yes. And it has, uh, has this old-fashioned flair. <laughs> That's right. That is, it's good. On a Saturday, do you run in the afternoon? We have a children's program. In this Saturday afternoon. But we also do like um, school screenings oh, yes. or for kindergartens. Yes. And even um, sometimes we have movies for children under three no. or uh, under four. Yes. So that's really a lot of fun. Uh, <laughs> well, you must be so busy making and breaking down movies. We have this kind of um, thing that is uh, sponsored by the state. Yes. So they give you money so you do it children is. programs. Yes. It's a very old print. It's, uh, Rumblefish from Coppola. Oh, right. You could hear the... Um, oh, yeah. All the... The scratches. Yes, yes. And the tears, I think. Uh -huh. <laughs> Colonna. Oh really? Like Colonnenstraße. Uh, oh right, so when did it get changed to Xenon? I think in the 70s. That's quite a good name. And when it was uh, the Colonna, when I went here, in the early 70s, yeah. maybe it changed to, to Xenon in the 80s. Right. I came here in the early 70s. Yes. And the cinema was owned by an old couple. Yes. They lived in the back house. Yes. It's really nice and I was getting all my lobby cards from them. Uh-huh. Like 50 pennies a poster. Yes. <laughs> well, that's fabulous. But we do have a projectionist who is here for ages. Mm -hmm. He works tomorrow. All right. He's in his mid-50s and he... Yes. He's here all the time. Uh. Do you like the new multiplexes? Uh, they're good for festivals because you don't have to change the locations. Yes. 
But they don't have any atmosphere, do they? Hmm? They don't have any atmosphere. They have an atmosphere, but it's different. That's right, yeah. <laughs> it's like a good point. Yeah. For me, it's hard to, to say because when I went for to London, for example, I always... Because that's where it happened first with multiplexes that's right. in Europe. So for me, that seemed new. <laughs> but nowadays, I think it's kind of you know, getting away the old cinemas. But it's, yes. sometimes I go to older cinemas and I'm annoyed also because yes. the screen is not big enough and stuff like that. That's so true, yes. You want I think it's our own fault. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes. But in Berlin, it's, it's this multiplex thing is kind of a curse because yes. they open so many multiplexes that they have to close them down after one year. This is the same in England now, mm. some are closing. Just yeah. far too many. I think there should be like a, a little plan or map of the, cin of the old cinema in the, in the foyer in the lobby. Oh, lovely. So. Maybe not anymore, but it used to be there.
No, we, we do screenings when people are invited in yeah. for like for business reasons. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But not paid public ones, no. Why so many pulses? Hmm? Why so many? Just uh, the, the way it works with the machine. That's for turning the machine off. Yeah. The next one is for turning the lights off. Ah. And the first one is for getting a light a little bit. Yes. Why do you have to put three on? Then? Four means stop all, three means lights oh, on, yes. another three means. Oh, I see. Uh, it knows how many. Yes. Yeah. Really is a kind of a concept. Yes. Oh, that's a good idea. You put tape on and then put that on. And then you can and then you pull it, it off. off. Yeah. What a good idea. Look at me. <laughs> that's excellent. It's fast, obviously. I think we started with this when we had like double bills in the weekends in yes. the 80s. Yeah. Like streets or um, movies the whole night when you do a lot of of uh, films on, on big spools and you get tired of Oh uh, yeah, so you can just pull the tape off. Yeah. That is a really good idea. You can see that this print was used uh, differently, so you yes. have all these things. Yes. That won't happen if you do tape under it. No. Well, yeah, I've learned something today. Well done, thank you for teaching me. <laughs> Hello, will you? And the tape just comes off easy. Yeah, that's specially film tape. Oh, yes. So you, it's, it's not sticky. Ah. But if I would be really accurate, I would only do these things in between the frames. Yes. But here I just don't care. Ah. Everybody does. Nobody dancing. will be in the cinema anymore. It's that's right, yes. You can see how fast they peel off now. Oh wow! <laughs> I've done Frankfurt. Oh, yeah. yeah, and I've done I've done one cinema in Munich and I, was, I did some work at Disney there. And I did Berlin in August and now. Oh yeah. yeah. In Munich there's a very good cinema called Werkstatt Kino. Oh yeah. And that's uh, like a small version of this one. Really? Oh there are many cinemas in Munich. Yeah, but that's kind of the independent cinema. Yes, yes. They really don't care what what the mainstream is. Yes. And they have a big archive of film prints. Yes. Real nasty stuff as well. Yes. And they they screen all all the weird stuff. Excellent. They are more uh, more consequent than than the cinemas in Berlin are. All right. Over here you should 
Zugang zu praktische Hilfe. Das ist aus der Cinema Call Central. Sehr freut, ein YouTube Stuff. Oh, wow. And das ist ein Place called Südstern. Sputnik Südstern. Das ist kind of the fourth floor and the seats are with bricks. Oh, so you yeah. sit on bricks. Never. I might go tomorrow. And in the East German part, I don't know all cinemas, yeah, but they yeah. have bigger ones. But I think the international is the most beautiful one. Yes, I only saw the projection room, the film was on, but I saw the, the, the lounge. It was lovely. Yeah. Really, really nice. I'ma let you go away. I'm tired. 